Hey, Cameron Martell with Watches You Can Afford, and I'm here hands-on with another entry-level Swiss luxury watch thanks to my friends at Certified Watch Store. Now, this is a first for me. Not the first watch review, obviously. The first Raymond Whale that I've reviewed, though, and I've got with me the uh, Freelancer Chronograph 7730. Here she is. What is it? I'm going to autofocus. No, I'll just go right ahead and focus that, though. There it is. I have way better photos on watchesyoucanafford.com, but for the time being, have a look at that. Good look and watch. I love the red accents. In any case, this has everything that an entry-level Swiss luxury watch should have. Sapphire glass, front and back, 42 millimeters, tasteful case diameter. Thanks. Mechanical automatic movement based off the Valjeo 7750, 46 hour power reserve, and a skyrocketed MSRP, $3,250 for an automatic based off the Valjeo. That's super high in my opinion, or is it? I don't know, isn't that the whole point of reviews is to find these things out? Well, let's find it out together, shall we? Now, as you would expect, the Freelancer Chronograph is built to impeccable standards. The dial is finished beautifully, grooved, multi-textured with a little bit of sunburst in there, not quite. The day-date display is cut out clean, looks wonderful, and the finish on all surfaces is absolutely excellent. It is what you would expect from an entry-level Swiss watch from a prominent brand like Raymond Whale. Turn the Freelancer Chronograph over and you're treated to a similar level of detail on the rear as you are on the front. The rotor itself is wonderfully decorated and looks fantastic, and the rest of the movement is clean and composed. All of it, of course, tucked safely away behind a sapphire crystal. But I have to wonder, does this level of detail justify three and a quarter thousand dollars for an MSRP? Now, I will admit that the Freelancer Chronograph makes a strong case for that price. Even the strap is given the same level of detail as the rest of the watch. And in fact, it's one of the most comfortable straps I've worn with a brand new watch almost ever. Soft, supple, comfortable. I was able to wear it for hours at a time without my wrist uh, getting sweaty or the watch hitting any pain points. I have to say of all the straps I've reviewed, this is one of the better ones. The Freelancer comes with 100 meters of water resistance, thanks in part to the screw down crown, which when operated is smooth, precise, and without any hiccups. I was able to not only operate the crown without worry, but nail down that screw down crown without having to fight with the movement itself, which is sometimes a bit of a pain in the butt with screw down crowns. Another notch in the Freelancer's belt. So if we're going to detract from the price, it's not going to be because of the quality of the build or the quality of the aesthetic. Both of those things are excellent and are more or less what I would have expected from a watch like this. But you can get the same level of quality or at least extremely close for a lot less money. So again, I have to ask, does all of this justify a three and a quarter thousand dollar MSRP? Of course, we all know that you never pay MSRP for an entry-level luxury watch, or any luxury watch, really. And considering that you can find this freelancer for around $900 on Certified Watch Store and around $1,100 to $1,300 from other sellers on Amazon, I have to ask myself, is the price objection really something that I'm willing to press so insistently? And I conclude with, no, I'm not going to press that objection so insistently because it's a comfortable watch to wear. It's built extremely well, has an excellent movement inside. All of the things that I'd want to see for a watch in the $900 to $1,300 range, which is what you're going to pay for this watch if you buy it in the gray market. Now, you may have mixed feelings about gray market purchases, but I will say if it comes to saving $2,000, that's the route most people will go. So, taking that fact into consideration, my stance on the Freelancer uh, softens considerably because it really is an excellent watch and it really is wonderful to wear. On that basis, it's hard for me to recommend against it with a high MSRP when many other watches I've reviewed in similar categories also have a high MSRP, including my favorite brand, Armand Nicolet, which you will find at more reasonable prices just about anywhere in the online marketplace. When found in that $1,000 range, I have no hesitations recommending the Freelancer Chronograph. It has an excellent mechanical movement based off the Valjeo 7750, a wonderful quality of built, and all told, it's just a really fine watch. So, thank you my friends at Certified Watch Store for furnishing me with this Freelancer for a few weeks to review, and for more information or high resolution photos, check out the full review on watchesyoucanafford.com.